I've had difficulty defining what my channel is. Are you stalking me? Uh, so this is Baby, everybody. When Baby does that and he sits back there, well, he wants on the bed, and I just would just rather have him hang out with us for a little while, because he's, uh, he's an all right dude. All right, so where was I? So what the hell am I doing? What, what's with this title? What the hell am I doing? Got started in this business because I loved making movies with my friend. Before high school and in high school, we made movies. It's what we did. I was good at that. I was good at science and I was good at making movies. And I feel like as I went to college and as I got into the industry, I stopped making movies. I think one of the reasons why I haven't made a lot of films is because I get bored too quickly. So I tend to come up with an idea, I'll write it, but I don't pursue making it. Or I make half of something um, and I kind of put it down or I get frustrated. And so these are some of the personal things that have been plaguing my filmmaking for a long time. And I think that's because I'm afraid of failing. What is that quote? Uh, you know, someone who never fails is someone who's never made anything. You know, I've somehow stumbled into being a pretty good producer on reality TV. So I get to tell stories every day and it's super lucky. I'm super lucky for that but I feel like I want more. And so this was what brought me to YouTube. It was just so exciting. Everyone was making movies or make, they were telling their stories on there. There was just no excuse anymore. What I finally realized is that my scatterbrained nature, I think is perfect for making films online. And so I started the YouTube channel, I think it was back in 2013, in order to try to get to that. And Milkshake didn't quite pan out the way I wanted. I realized I needed to, to connect with people and I needed to change how I did filmmaking, how I did my channel. I'm going to focus on making this YouTube channel better. We're gonna get regular updates on Patreon. You're gonna get regular updates on Steemit. You're gonna get regular updates here. And I want to make this YouTube channel come to life again and get better at communicating, you know, finding what I want to say and say it. And in the immortal words of Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. And I feel like what I've been doing for a long time is trying to be a filmmaker instead of just being one. It's kind of disappointing to admit something like that. That said, a quick update on Snoop. We just had the second casting session. By casting session, I mean we reviewed the tapes and I discovered that I was wrong. The initial actress that I had picked as the co-star was not the right choice. I think that when Jeff had seen her, you know, she, he was more skeptical and then than me, I was sure that, that was the one I wanted, but in watching the tapes, I realized that he was right about that particular actress. She was good, but she wasn't right. Um, so Snoop was moving along. Uh, it's gonna be the second episode. The first episode is gonna come out around Easter, I believe. And uh, we are gonna be shooting late April for the second episode. And uh, a few other shorts I've got coming up. I've got a short, I Love You, that I'm gonna be working with Danny Lutman again from Milkshake. Uh, that's Danny. And then the last project, the biggest project, is Changelings. Uh, if you want a lot more information on Changelings, you can go to Steam It or become a Patreon member. It's the horror movie that I want to make that's a really quiet horror movie. Um, I don't want to give away too much. I think it's going to be pretty spectacular. It's a little bit far off. I've got two of my actors already locked in, and I just need to find two more and I need to start meeting with uh, some visual or some special effects people to try to get this transformation down because it is a horror movie with a monster. Check out my Instagram page, uh, distant underscore signal, if you want to check out some of the concept work by uh, Norm Quiros, who did some conceptual work for another project of mine years ago. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And talk to you soon. Bye.